right, so Microsoft and AMD is already on there. Okay, I want to look at a uh, look at JPM, right? I'm really just liking these uh, financials. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, I've been liking them too lately. Yeah. Bank of America is going to be in my new ticker. <laughs> yeah. I used to hate it because the you you really have to get like a almost in the money contract to kind of get some movement on it but lately it's been moving pretty nice no yes of course man and that that's that's why i've been eyeing these financials man they're they're a good they're a good buy area man for real like yeah look at this like it's still at a buy man like any investor w would want to grab this yeah so. i was trading at 150 before almost before yeah drop happened the interesting yeah, thing about financials of... is if you look at like xlf if you look at like the big picture uh we're just like we were just getting to 2008 levels oh are you doing yeah like big big picture <clears throat> Yeah, yeah like the three year I think. Oh you... you gotta go max. Go to time frame. Dude, you're nuts, man. Time frame max, yeah. No, keep it on week, but time interval. Oh max. the Yeah. Damn you're making me go all the way back though. <laughs> Whoa. See? Hey. XLF peaked around thirty dollars back in two thousand eight and we we were just reaching those levels. So we're still at like good buy levels. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It's yeah. crazy to see that. Oh, it's cool. Look, hey, my weekly uh pattern right here. <laughs> Dope. Cool. Glad we got to see that. Yeah. So this is this is what I have on XLF, you know, and and XLF, like I said, it's like the uh, it's like the spy the ETF for. The S and P five hundred, but this is for the financials. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot, <clears throat> that red candle right there on the four hour. I think a lot of people will look at this as bearish because we couldn't make it to the top or whatever. But but again, they failed to realize that we we're breaking out of this range. Came up, came down, tested, and break out, and it pulled back. This is a pullback. It's not. It's not like a sell off. It's not. Yeah, that's a, a, a pressure. Real, yeah, real short term trend. Yeah, exactly. And you know, we want to be able to catch some of those plays. You know, we're not trying to get rich. You know, we just want some of those plays. And for me, uh, the gap is already filled. Everything happened on XLF already. So now we're gonna see, kind of wait, wait this area and see what happens. Because technically, we're in the middle of this top right here of 2580 and then the range and then the breakout right so we're in the middle still and this thing still has to decide where it's gonna go so levels for this i love this zone right here this is like my buy area you know but again we're in the middle so the the stop loss has to be real tight so my entry out of the zone would be 25 that's my entry for XLF. And then my stop loss would be 24.95. That's how tight that is. Now you can move your stop loss down to the bottom of this right here. So 24.90. Yeah. The okay, candle so body is not the wick. Yeah, candle body, not the wick. Because if we enter at 25 and it goes down to 24.90, that's when you would have to stop out. So stretching out your your position basically and giving yourself enough time again if you have a bigger account you're able to hold it a little longer and give that little leeway and again if we if we break down right here this 2490 and just just continue down like if we try to build some type of range right here like this right so like this right so if we if we do something like this tomorrow it's like this little 
a little price action going on and we just drop to the bottom, then of course I wouldn't be in calls, but taking a long over 25 would be ideal. Okay, and then your first alert should be like at 25, 25, 25 area, right here. You just want this top right here. Yeah. You want this <clears throat> top right here and and then eventually we want to look for this like 26 area up here. Yeah, okay, that'll be again, a nice pop once we get over that. Yeah, it, it'll just, it'll need confirmation to keep going and the confirmation would be again volume yeah yeah i think that that top would be like uh bueller talks about the double confirmation what's up amigos <laughs> yeah exactly is it james yes sir oh what's up man we're Bro. making uh we're making a watch list real quick so don't get crazy <laughs> oh i need to be in on that yes yeah, make sure you leave your mic off all right Un unless you're gonna say something funny then <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that's uh, that would be XLF. I um, mean, I would have just kind of like my little targets right here, right? So, just a reminder. That's kind of what I'm looking for right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say twenty-five, twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five, twenty-five. That'd be my little. That's where my alerts are at. So alert here, here, and then stop loss alert. But again, when these pop off, when these alerts pop off, please, please reset them. And those are the same entry points that you will have coming into the next day, the next week, um, during power hour, during the slow momentum in lunch, it's all the same, nothing changes. All right, reset those dang alerts. Mm -hmm. All right, what else did I see? Okay, V. V caught my attention big time today. I even called it out like the last like 10 seconds. <laughs> this, uh, right here. Okay, so what I like about V. Right, we basically broke out of this, this huge range right here. We were able to catch it last time, um, but I wasn't able to catch it this time coming up into the year because it just kept gapping up and you should gap up and then they have slow moment, slow movement. Uh, they're not all that great to dip by because it, it's gonna give you like some wrong, uh, just wrong price action and it's just gonna be weird and then you're probably gonna stop out. Um, and that is why like I never call those, uh, these type of tickets on, unless there's like a nice breakout going on. Um, but the range, it broke out, right? Let's what I like about this is the fact that it broke from this range right here all right, this huge range that it's been in and it's just been trending up. So the trend is up on this one and buying the dip would have made sense. Okay, my alert went off on this one. I did not reset it down here at the bottom, um, but I did reset this 208 alert that kind of went off the last like two minutes of market market closing and I didn't have enough time to alert this. Um, but I do like it. It built a base here is what I talked about, right? You break out of the range, you build you form a pattern, gap up, you come in here, come into the zone right here, gap up right out of it, hit the two away perfectly and come back down and test this zone right here. Right, so taking it long tomorrow over 208 would make sense and the target is already there. You don't think we pull back tomorrow and test the zone? It already did that today. Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. All right. Yeah, so. Dude, I would have, I would have swung this. <laughs> yeah. But again, this my alert right here went off the last like two minutes, man. <laughs> and I didn't get to my, my computer on time. But yeah, I want it over 208. Yeah. That is my entry level. Now, again, if we go up pre-market, by all means, if it goes down and tests 208 and it drops below 208, just wait till you, it gets over the pre-market level, whatever that, that level may be, um, or enter at the 208, up to you. But but again, tomorrow's sentiment's gonna be different. Tomorrow's movement will be different. It's not gonna be the same today. If it is, then let's go for it because today was literally a trending type day. It was buy the dip, it was get in, 
hold all day long. Yeah. <laughs> that was today. <laughs> it was nuts. But that's your level. Have the next alert down here at this 206.30. All right, just so you understand that it's, it's going to be in those zones and stuff. <laughs> And that's the, your target. Sorry, your target. It's already the top of the zone, right? So if you see right here, your first target can be 209.80. Okay, so the bottom of this. Let me just get closer. Okay, right here. So I want this top right here. This is where a lot of the sellers showed up. So everybody started taking profit right here, like at 210. So 210 can be our our actual target. Okay, so 210, 211.40. Okay, and once we get up in this area, then we're gonna have some some fighting momentum going on. We're gonna have some bull and bear fighting, but nonetheless, ultimate target is up here. So, uh, perfect scenario for tomorrow. It doesn't gap up as much and it stays here. Then let's grab it at 208. Let's go long, grab a two week contract out. I think this is a little pricey though. I may not grab this uh, due to the account or yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll probably grab the 210. Well, you know, we'll see. The uh, contracts will change tomorrow. So the 210, September 4th kind of would make sense if we grab it here. Mm hmm. Uh, because our stop loss would be right here, this 20 if it goes down below and it just starts. Yeah. If it does something like this. But I, th I still think it has a room to go up up here. You know, even on the weekly. So you can clearly see on the weekly, same thing. Broke out of the range and now it's pushing. So now it's building a weekly candle. And the week is not over. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have three days for this candle to actually fill and to give us a direction. But nonetheless, we're right there. This 208. Sound like a plan on that one? Yeah. Cool. So 208, we want to get that entry. But again, wait for pre-market. If we get in, stop loss would be 207.50. Just so it does it, it just so it's tight uh, because we're being conservative. Yeah. For bigger accounts, stop loss would be done here. Oh, well, 207. 207 for a bigger account, stop loss. That's what that'll be. I was going to say that stop loss is almost the whole ATR. Yeah. So, <laughs> tools, yeah. 207 would be the actual stop loss for a bigger account. Uh, it's a dollar move, basically. The most likely like this thing just looks bullish it kind of looks like that fdx that we had played man look at this like it's just that channel yeah i mean you can draw channels all day long man and see that it's bullish but the biggest thing is execution and having a plan and having that discipline to enter your trade okay Facebook. Facebook beast. Bro. This was awesome. People should be in this swinging, man. <laughs> <laughs> Even Bueller called it. I said, take it long at 280. Look, perfect. Whole number. Top level, 280. Perfect entry. Perfect pump. $3 move. But I don't know why nobody took it in that chat or if they did. Awesome. Congratulations. But well, you should still be in it. <laughs> For this one's fairly simple. Any stock that goes all time high, always remember that it's a whole number that you're looking for. Not just whole number, but look at the ATR of that one stock. Every stock will have its own characteristic. It will have its own movement. And that's what you have to understand when it's all time high. People always ask this question, when should I sell if it's at all time high? Well, hmm. trail it. If you're in the green, trail it at any whole number. Let's say we got in at 280. Your trail stop now is 281. The next trail stop, 282. The next one, 283. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. 
on what time frame? Well, please do not be on the one minute and try to drill. <laughs> okay. 15 minute, a little more ideal, especially for those all time highs, because you're going to get these movement. Look at these, look at this movement right here. Right. If you look at this movement and you're on the 15 minute chart, you will never get stopped out here. Right, you have this nice bullish move candle right here, entry 280, right? Right here. Okay, it should have never stopped you out. You should have never stopped out of this 280 right here. You enter 280, you're in the green. Cool, you might be a little red right here at 280 because of theta, but still there is no reason to stop out. None yeah. whatsoever, no selling pressure, no, no none of that. It's all buying pressure right here and you ended up in the green, 283, trail stop is now 281.70 or 282, and then that's where you stop out and you're actually in that green trade from 280 to 282. Who cares what happens afterwards? That's your trade. Again, if you're on a bigger time frame and you're trailing this bad boy, still stop loss has not hit. You're still over 280 right here. Especially if you're doing like uh, Bueller's Iron Hands video, yeah. you never get a lower high there. Everything, you make a higher high and then a higher low, and then a higher high and a higher low, and you just did that all day long. Exactly. You'd still be in that trade if you're doing Iron Hands. Exactly. <laughs> that Iron Hands video is freaking gold no matter what time frame you are on. I still prefer the 15. <laughs> <laughs> I like the 30 second <laughs> the point five. <laughs> I use a 20 tick chart yeah. <laughs> so you look here's your game plan 280 okay psychological level you're at all time highs okay 280 would be great freaking dip by okay yep. set your alerts right there and if you're in a swing make sure it does not go Below 280 if you're in the swing. Okay. Here's your 283. Definitely you saw some sellers there. Okay, so there's your alert. Your 283. I'm gonna set this alert. That's my entry for calls. What is the ATR of Facebook? Well, let's go look back and just technically look at it. Look at the bottom up here, 269. It went all the way to 277. Crazy move, right? 261, 267. So you're looking at like a nice $5 move for Facebook on a daily, right? Mm -hmm. 62, 58, yeah. Like a $5 move, okay? So we're looking at Facebook for a $5 move at the break of 283. And what is the next whole number? Right? Here you go. Yep, I agree with that. If it hits that zone, guys, I don't know. Don't call me a genius. <laughs> but that's your take profit. Okay. Now, if you hit that top, the 290, the 285 to the 290, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Anything can happen tomorrow, so be aware. Manage your risk. Trail this freaking thing. Okay. Trail over 283. You're going to trail at 284. You're going to trail at 285, 286, 287, 288, 89, 90. Okay, because we have no base built here yet. There is nothing. That's how you trade Facebook tomorrow. Okay. What was the other one I saw? Let's like this tomorrow. Jeez, man. PayPal. I'm thinking this more more as a swing trade, right? So we're literally just following this trend here. And what I'm gonna look for is this right here. I'm gonna grab that. I don't care about the sale top. That's just a little resistance, mm -hmm. dumb stuff. 
Okay. This one, we might have to wait a few days. But nonetheless, I'm setting my alert. 203.50, I want to know what it's doing. I want to know how, how it got there. 203.50, I want to know how it got there, if there is volume there, and if there's going to be selling pressure or not, or not, because we're getting close to this 205. Okay, so I like getting my early entries before they pop. I like to know what's going on before they pop. And I like to know that there's a trend line here. There's a trend being followed. Now, if you go here, So if we hit, if we literally just consolidate right here and kind of just what follow that pattern, it will not hit my trigger level. It will not, it will not catch my attention until we hit, hit this. If we come in here and we just go like this, just break all the way through. And yes, I will take it because at least I know that there's a trend line right here and somebody is watching that trend line. Somebody's drawing the same type of trend. That's what I'll know. Okay. There you go. You just want that. So at least I know that it's going to be there. And that'll be my place. So just keep the alert 20350 204 205. And make sure that we catch that breakout. Okay. Oh. All right, what other one? Yeah, that's big. Qualcomm spin on this crazy run. I really don't like Qualcomm. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I made good money last time, but I really don't like it. You just don't like the but movements or what? Yeah, they're weird movements. Here you go. Here is a some fighting again with bears. Trying to fight these bears. The bears smacked it down. But again, the biggest thing you look for is the selling pressure. How many how many bears showed up versus buyers versus mm -hmm. bulls? Like two in in, uh, in Bueller's Guide Three, how he talks about when something hits like resistance or whatever like uh on qualcomm here when it first had that push up and it hit that that zone it had a nice push back but this yeah, time when it hit the zone it didn't have that same strong push back there was yeah. there was a rejection of sellers but there were still buyers there to hold it up yeah exactly like that first time it hit there was a big red candle and big follow through and it kept following through with it where where it right is here. now is yeah where it is now there is a big red candle but it was still holding that zone yep it is and all they did was test this right here yep so it kind of held support and it's holding in the middle and now tomorrow it's going to decide where it's going to go yep it's okay. still yeah it still could pull back like it did before and 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 test that other zone again we could range trade sideways, you know, for the next six months if we wanted to. Yeah. But in my opinion, that looks like a bullish setup. That looks like sellers tried to show up. They showed up, held it down for today. It just wasn't ready to make that move yet today. Yeah. And then now, now we have this alert right here. I like candle bodies, remember? Could care less about the wicks 116.34 if that's what you want to call that um, that'll be my alert the next one the next alert will be that wick yeah 117 so I, I I would keep it at 117 whole number right so so you know that it just scale out trail it and stay in the green Uh, what's up, man? Go ahead. You can turn your mic on. What's up, bro? Could you check out um, FedEx after you're done? Yeah. For sure. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, th that'll be uh, your your entry and then the break below. You can just say 115. 115. For your stop. And then, 
Uh, you can for puts for stop loss okay. whatever you want. Yeah, that'll be entry puts and then calls on top or by the dip at one fifteen if you see it uh, going up. Um, and then your targets, your targets again, Qualcomm whole numbers same as Facebook. Uh, but right here, this this little area, just a dollar move from Qual Qualcomm. But again, this thing can move if it does. It'll be crazy. FedEx, cheese, man. Beast. It's Dude. interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay's selling Just... premium on FedEx, isn't he? Or yeah, he is. Yeah. Correct. Is that Jay? Yeah, it's Jay. Correct. Yeah. Oh, what up? What's up? I don't know. I like you, man. Yeah, that's a nice play, man. What was, that was that was a breakout from what was that was that earnings or was that it, it had like a yeah their earnings on, number okay yeah their earnings are good and their balance sheet is like really solid so I'm taking it based off of I think it's gonna hold a major support area so worst case scenario if it trades sideways I collect a premium yeah. at its lower rate but I think it still has some upside potential even the fact that it's holding its underlying um, level mm -hmm. what contract did called, you sell. Uh, two ten. I sold the. Let me check them. I sold the two tens. Bought the two oh seven fifties. Yeah. So FedEx will have to stay above two oh nine in the next three days, which, in my opinion, is very realistic and very possible because yeah, uh, the base it's built been building yeah, over and, the past and couple you have days. That, that upward trend line. Mm hmm. And it's coming off of an uptrend. It's building a base off of an uptrend as well. Yeah. Here. That's a good play. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's not a big move today. Yeah, so I mean, if anybody wanted to play naked on it, I feel like they can use this support base that it's building as like a level to watch for it. If you want to take like naked calls on it, because unless it were to break back into that Ooh. range that uh, Chef has up there, but it looks pretty decent. Just needs the volume to match up with it. Yeah. I like that. I like that it's like right there chilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Right. You guys, I think Spy is going to make new highs as well. Yeah. I just got alerts still yeah. going up. Already is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's still 373 going. 373 target. Yeah. It's 373? Yeah. Well, at least by like <laughs> next month. At least by next month at this rate. Yeah. It's going. Yeah, dude. I think GS or Morgan Stanley like two days ago came out with an article as well saying that their new revised target on SPX is uh, 380. Oh, nice. My my spy calls will be in the money by then. <laughs> oh, you're still holding on to them? Heck yeah, yeah, bro. I told you Jesus. I was holding leaps. Christ. Bro, those I'm are not the same. Joking. I, sold, I sold mine. Oh. That's what happens when you don't listen to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm at like 150%. Yeah. 100 and something percent. I know I, I scaled out one at, I think it was 90, like 90% I scaled out at. Bro, those analysts at Goldman Sachs are the same ones saying the market's been too overextended and <laughs> and it's a bubble and we're going back to visit yeah, the marsh lows and all take, that bullshit. I take everything that they say with the grain of salt. Like, <laughs> like myself and I was like, okay, here's my targets that I have. Yeah. I'll trust Jay's callouts before I trust Goldman Sachs callouts. <laughs> Anyway. So is this like we're analyzing plays for tomorrow or just going through tickers to look at or what's going on? Um, so I'm basically just making a watch list so I can post in the stream. So everything mm. that is being recorded right now. Um, and nice. I'm going to I'm going to post this in uh, Bueller's YouTube. Nice. Um, and I'm just going to post it for everybody. So it'll be you awesome. ran through AMD as well. Yeah. AMD, uh, Microsoft, Facebook. What I do. JPM, I think it was. Qualcomm. Something's going on with financials. Oh, yeah, Qualcomm, FedEx, that. FDX uh, right now. Forward about Baba. Oh, you want to look at Baba real quick? Yeah, it's also running same like uh, other tickers. Baba's in all-time highs now too, isn't it? Yeah, it's in all-time highs and it wants 300, I guess. There, Baba, right, well, you want to take a look at Spot too? Think that has good potential yeah let me see if i get enough time for it so let me just All go right. over netflix real quick the levels 
don't, don't, I know some of the guys like to trade Netflix. Um, not with that right thousand dollar account, you're not. <laughs> yeah, no. There's some of the guys want to though. But. Yeah. So we got like ten minutes, all right. So real quick. Here's your break below. I would say four eighty seven. Four eighty six. Yeah. Four eighty six break below. That lines up pretty well. Yeah, four eighty six. Four eighty six below. Make sure that this is not uh, like a new channel going down. You don't want that. And then set your alerts at right here at this top right here. So four ninety six. You want to know what it's doing. And then of course the five hundred, right here. Keep those alerts. See what the market is doing. See if it's gonna have like a huge move. And if it can get back up here, that'd be cool. And let it let it form a pattern, so it can just keep breaking to the top. Uh, but I think this thing, this thing is still in good in a good spot. I don't think there's anything wrong with this trend here. I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I don't like that. But just like that. Okay, below 486. And then just keep the alerts around 496 and then 500 just to see what it's doing if we get a pattern formation. All right, there was Netflix. Spot was one that I traded a little while ago. I was able to capture some of that move from this bottom right here. This thing actually dropped and confirmed this right here. I have my alert set there. Okay, spot. I like this. Um, drop down. Got rejected up here real hard, uh, especially from this this move up. Came down, caught support, and got bought up. Basically turned into a green candle. This is a wick basically telling us that there's a bunch of bulls in it. And Looks this like hole. a falling wedge setup too. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, so I like that. So I like the fact that we were over this here. All this weird price action going on. Just some nasty, nasty range right there. Spots ATR is like ten or fifteen bucks too. So this thing can run yeah. if it breaks out. Yeah. So I like oh, that. Yeah. I would take it along at 270, whole number. All right, so 270, I would say 275, your first take profit taking. The 275, and then just look for these next, again, look for a pattern to form as we're going up on the smaller time frames. Yeah, here you go. There's that wedge that Jay's talking about. Even on a smaller time frame, same thing. Uh, I wouldn't say on the same thing. Still like that. It's so. back in the wedge on the smaller time frames. Like that 15, say, yeah, I got back in the wedge and then yeah, now I want to see if it can break out. I was yeah, gonna say that almost support. looks like a breakdown and a retest. Yeah, right here. Broke down, retested right here, this whole area. Stayed up right on top. So, yeah, I'll take a long over 270. The spreads are crazy, so you guys got to be careful on the spreads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but nonetheless, the move in itself, like Jay said, the ATR for this thing is awesome. And we can make some good profits on this one nonetheless. So, that's a good one. I got to alert for this today. I guess the, the streaming streaming wars are not uh, in the war right now. Okay. Yeah, hey, I kind of just had a little breakdown. One of this. So if you want to look at it like that, right? A lot of things seems like it broke out of the, uh, of a little downtrend like that. Had that nice push up and the pullback. Yeah, a lot of them are like that, man. And that's exactly what happened to ES today. It literally dropped down and just made like a, a bottom. Yeah. And then it got bought up, like literally. 
This is just profit takers. Yeah. But keep your alerts on Disney over like 139, 131.50. That is a the, big falling wedge breakout on Disney attempt. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Jay over there puffing on freaking watch list review. <laughs> oh, freaking Jay. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, just keep your alerts up there. Just see what it's doing. Uh, because what we want to see is we want it to break above uh, these areas right here. So set those alerts because I cannot keep track of all these. <laughs> you know, when I'm in my position, I'm I'm in it. I'm on the hourly time frame. I go enjoy my day. You know, some of you guys saw the picture that I posted. I was cooking while I was watching these charts. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, please please set those alerts. If I could also, if I could also add in, um, set the alerts on the tickers that you can afford to play i would say because when those alerts go off you you know that you know you can afford to play them and i'd say just keep the bigger tickers that are unaffordable to you at the moment just keep them on the side still on your watch list you can still monitor them but set alerts on the ones that you like to play because normally traders will set alerts on like big tickers and then when they go off they find out oh wait i don't i don't have enough to play it and then they try and go far out the money and then that's when they lose even though like the whole trade it was good you get what I mean? Yeah. I feel that. I've done it, that a lot. And and that's something we talked about earlier, right, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I made so, that watch list. That's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the same page, man. I might uh, be able to play Disney, though. All right. The last one is Amazon, because uh, I know Rick. Uh, Rick was the only one playing this. I don't normally call these because, again, like Jay said, you you only play what's you know in in your account size you play well, what you're gonna be able to control emotionally um, and then again to your account size your account value and how much you're willing to risk but amazon i love the fact that it broke out of this range right here so if you can see this zone right here we're literally on top right tested the wick right here came down built a nice little area right here okay so again built a built a formation before the new trend right here it had some i don't know if there was some crazy news or something on, on monday but i had drawn these levels way before it happened which was pretty awesome and they all hit and i have not erased them and then now we're out of out of this little range so we're above the high and then we're right there right and amazon has these awesome moves it moves a little different so that's why i don't trade it and of course the premiums they're like over four or five K I'm not trying to put that much money into something uh, that's not going to match my account size uh, right now. So nonetheless, the zone is still there. So there's 3350 to this 33, just 55. That would be your entry point and to write it to this 3380. And remember that Amazon, nothing is impossible with this thing to move $100, $20, $30, this thing moves and when it goes, it's gonna go. Ultimate target would be 34. Simple fact that we already broke out and I just want to see that. Just continue its trend. So for Rick, I know you're holding it. Congratulations with the good old CRM. And I hope your, your profits match freaking Amazon. <laughs> So that'll be a freaking sweet play. But uh, that's Amazon for anybody who wants to play it. We only have a minute left uh, for this watch list, but this should be a good enough watch list for everybody. A lot of tickers on here. I wish I can do more, but that'll be that'll be it for now. And then since we have that one minute left, thank you guys for your time. And then keep that alert at thirty four fifty on ES, please. <laughs> Watch that. We're in a bull market, guys. But yeah, Nick, thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, for no the problem. recording and stuff, man. Jay, thanks for hopping on here. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, guys. Let's make some money. Yeah.